felt the sting of an unfamiliar chill. She had no clothes, she was naked, not a thing, not even a thin piece of muslin. She had been shielded where she was before, out in the cosmos where she knew no fear. But here, she needed protection in this atmosphere. Here she heard the sorrowful cries for the first time. Here she felt the sting of lies and broken minds for the first time. Here there was anger and division. There was war and exclusion, greed and wanting, corruption and deception. Destruction seemed to reign. But amidst all the pain, she would see shards of light, sparkles in the night. Great eruptions of energy blindingly bright, like slow lightning strikes. Silvery saffron streamers snaking to the sky, or flashes like dashes over the surface that glow like a blush or a sigh of relief. But there was something familiar about these moments. Something in the configuration of the notes. Something in the fervor of the passion they invoked. A melody she could remember. A body wave she had hewn. A melodrama in their action that she definitely knew. Was this the same incantation she had conjured upon high? Had they heard her cry? They had. They had heard her song. They had felt her dances against her warm on solitude when she had felt an aloneness of great magnitude. They used her song to right wrongs. They found tongues of expression that bound them to become one. Some found a passion of holy proportions, became dervish and Sufi and shaman. Others became masters, virtuoso and artist. There were those who connected to the pulse of the people, the mouthpiece, knowing all men were equal, through creativity. As creativity knew no race, color or creed, they knew it could not comprehend murder, destruction or greed. Creativity was a natural healer, just by its existence alone. It replenished. It bred love. It was home away from home. And their hearts, raw and naked, nothing but flesh, they would open their chest to cavity's request. Oh, 
in our light, in our darkness, in our might, with our tongue, with our body, with our blood, with our soul, with our poem, with our dance, with our drum in our hearts, with our muscle and our dream, with our people, with our tribe, with our culture. Yes. Mm-hmm. 